Hey folks, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Run Report with your MLB baseball preview and predictions for a Monday, June 28th. Hopefully you're having yourself a good start to your day. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you are using a mobile device. Today's podcast is brought to you by bullpenpicks.com. Anybody can play, anybody can join, and you want to follow the hottest pickers right now at bullpenpicks.com. Those are your top scorers. Mag still our leader at 786. Nikki Bats at 777. That's a nice number right there. Lucky number 777. And Must still in third place at 749. And those are your top three scorers today at bullpenpicks.com. Folks, get 20% off your next membership package right here at atsstats.com. In fact, Use promo code FOOTBALL2021, that's all one word, capital F, FOOTBALL2021, and get 20% off your next monthly or yearly membership. And with NFL, college football, and the CFL right around the corner, you want to get your uh, membership before the uh, the pigskin starts flying, and uh, hopefully the Ram Report can help you uh, become a more knowledgeable and informed gambler when you are making your picks at the window. All right, let's get to the uh, the games today. Now, weather could be a factor in some of these places, so keep an eye out on the uh, latest developments. Now, Pittsburgh taking on the Colorado Rockies. Rockies didn't have a fun time in uh, Milwaukee this weekend. In fact, coming off a 5 nothing loss on Sunday, they lost three in a row. And uh, looking at the Bucks, they're uh, coming off a 7-2 win over the Cardinals. They had a pretty good weekend in St. Louis, and now they come into uh, Coors Field. And we all know Colorado, right? It's Colorado is Jekyll and Hyde, right? They're Jekyll at home, but they hide on the road. And let's see if uh, Jekyll will be uh, at Coors today. Minus 114 is the price tag on the Rockies. The over-under is set at 11.5. ATS forecast, computer pick, going to lean with Kyle Freeland and the Rockies. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on here. I I always jump the gun here, right, because I'm thinking of the favorites. 6.37 for the Bucks, 3.74 for the Rockies. The over-under is set at 10.11. So it does like Tyler Anderson and the Pittsburgh Pirates over Kyle Freeland. And if you look at the chance of winning, 80% chance on the uh, rain report, law of average theory, favoring Colorado, but 48 for the Pittsburgh Pirates. My line on this game, I had both teams in the dog uh, value here. I had the uh, the Bucks at plus 177, and I had the Rockies at plus 154. Your Kogo, chance of this game going over the total is at 60%, meaning a 40% chance of this game going under the total at Colorado. All right, that's a lot of time spent on the Pirates and the Rockies, right? Phillies taking on the Cincinnati Reds. Now the Reds losing yesterday 4 nothing to the Atlanta Braves, taking on the Phillies. Had a uh, pretty good uh, win in New York over Marcus Stroman and the Mets. A 4-2 to two was the final. And uh, the starting pitcher, I believe, was uh, Wheeler for uh, the... Uh, let me check here my records. Make sure I give you guys... The, yeah, Zach Wheeler was the starter yesterday for Phillies. Now, Spencer Howard is going to go now for Philadelphia. He'll be up against Wade Miley, one of the pitchers who pitch a no-no this year. Now, the last four games for the Reds have been under the total. My line in this game, I had the Reds at minus 104. You can see the bookmaker have them listed at 147. And uh, looking at the Kogo is at uh, 65%, meaning a 35% chance of going uh, under the total. The uh, computer forecast based on 16 previous game in the system is going with the Phillies here, 4.4 to 3.8. The over-under at 8.22. Should be an interesting matchup. Cincinnati's last four games have gone under the total. New York, just happy they're not facing the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox own the Yankees this year, 6-0. and And uh, now they're back to the uh, Bronx where they're going to face Dylan Bundy and the LA Angels who were coming off a 6-4 win yesterday at Tropicana Field over the Tampa Bay Rays. And uh, the Yankees, a 150 favorite in this one. My line was 154, so right there with the bookmaker. And uh, looking at the starting pitcher for the Yankees, it looks like it's going to be Michael King. And the uh, computer pick, going to go with the road underdog here. The the Halo, 7.2 to 6, the over-under at 13.25. The last two games for the uh, Angels have gone over the total. And the Bronx Bombers are now on a three-game Losing streak. New York losing to Zach Wheeler and those Phillies yesterday on the road now facing the Nationals who are coming off a 5-1 win yesterday over the Marlins. Max Scherzer was the starting pitcher in that game. Still no deciding pitcher yet for Washington, but uh, whoever um, they're going to put, they're going to face Jared Eikhoff of the New York Mets. And looking at both these teams, no streaks to report. The Mets are 40-33 on the year, where the Nationals one game below 500 at 37-38, but they're over under record. Look at that, 24 overs. 50 under, so 60, almost 66.6% of the games have gone under this year for the Nationals. So keep an eye on the starting pitcher. And uh, because there's no line, I won't give you guys the forecast yet, but uh, check the rain report for the latest. In fact, that's the only game that doesn't have a line yet. All right, Kansas City taking on the Boston Red Sox. Red Sox wish they could just play the Yankees forever, right? 
145 is the line here on Boston. The over-under set 11.5. ATS uh, forecast and computer pick. Going to go with the uh, Danny, uh, hang on, yeah, Danny Duffy and the Royals. 6.59 to 5.96. The over-under set at 12.55. Garrett Richards going to get the starting assignment for Boston. And looking when uh, Richard goes for the Bull Sox, they're 8-7 in his starts. And when Duffy goes for KC, they are 4-4. Four and four. Kansas City on a five-game losing streak, while Boston on a three-game win streak. The Tribe taking on the Tigers. Now, the uh, let me see here. The line's at 157 for Cleveland. The over-under set at 9.5. ATS forecast, computer pick. Ooh, sees a very tight game here. 4.29, 4.27. The over-under at 8.56. Matt Manning going to start here for the Tigers. I wonder if he plays football. Taking uh, Going up against Eli Morgan of the uh, Cleveland Indians. And uh, looking at the forecast, again, leading with the Tribe. The uh, Tribe on a two-game losing streak, losing yesterday 8-2 to against the Twins. I think James Happ started for that game. And uh, looking at uh, the Tigers, a 2-1 win. Oh, yeah, the squeeze play. They got a nice little squeeze to get the victory over a good streaking uh, Houston Astros team who's been one of the best teams in baseball in the month of June. Baltimore taking on the Houston Astros. Now the Strolls come in this one off that 2-1 loss yesterday. Bad way to lose on the, you know what, you don't see the squeeze enough, and I think it was awesome. Uh, minus 293 is the price tag here on the Strolls. I got them listed at 186, and uh, you can see I have Baltimore at 219. ATS forecast, the computer pick, going to lean with uh, Zach Greinke, the old veteran here, against uh, Thomas Eiselman of the Baltimore Orioles. Orioles losing 5-2 yesterday in Buffalo against the Blue Jays. 4.21, 3.52, the over-under at 7.73. Milwaukee taking on the Chicago Cubs. Cubs losing on the ESPN Sunday night game of the week against Clayton Kershaw and the LA Angels. If you watched that game last night in the first inning, uh, you saw Kershaw wasn't too impressed with the umpire there. He thought he had a called strike and he started walking off the mound. And, uh, you know, I don't think you, if you're an umpire, you do that to a veteran like Kershaw, right? And, you know, if you're the home team and that was a strike, you got to give him that call. But uh, back to the, the Brew Crew here. They're a 140 favorite against the Cubs. 7.5 is the over-under. Should be a good division rivalry here tonight at uh, Miller Park. 3.42 for Milwaukee. 2.84 for the Cubs. Kyle Hendricks going up against Freddie Peralta for the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. And when Peralta goes for uh, Milwaukee, they are 10-4 and four in his starts. But they're also 12-4 and four for um, Kyle Hendricks when he starts for the Cubs. Should be a great one here. Milwaukee in a five-game winning streak while the Cubs lost three straight in L.A. Minnesota taking on the Chicago White Sox. Now the uh, the Twins, I, um, let me see here, 128 favorite for the White Sox. The over-under at 8.5. ATS forecast, the computer pick. Going to go with the Twinkies here. 4.4 to 3.98. The over-under at 8.45. Lucas Giolito going to go for the White Sox against Kenta Maeda. You know what these two pitchers have in common? Um, coming off good years, but look at their team records. 7-8 and eight for the White Sox, 3-8 and eight for the Twins when both these respective starters go. So somebody's got to give here tonight. And the Twins on a two-game win streak. They're off that 8-2 win yesterday. But uh, the computer pick going to lean with the Twinkies here. And your co-goal is at 44%. Cardinals taking on the D-backs. Now Arizona goes into this one. Uh, tough loss yesterday to San Diego. I think they had like a 5-1, 5-2 lead in that game. And uh, looking at today's starting pitcher, Jake Ferry are going to go for Arizona. He'll be up against uh, St. Louis's uh, Wade LeBlanc. I haven't seen Wade LeBlanc in a while. And uh, you know what? Misery loves company in this game because both teams really in a real, uh, tough losing uh, cycle these days. And uh, 7-2 loss yesterday, St. Louis over Pittsburgh. Y you can't be losing to the Pittsburgh Pirates at home. Uh, when you got to win your home games. In Arizona, well, it's San Diego. We'll give them that one. <laughs> you know, you're, you're expected to lose against the Padres, right? And the last three games for the D-backs have gone over the total. And your Kogo in this one is at 49%. The computer pick, going to lead with Arizona, 5.56, 3.11. The over-under at 8.67. All right, the game of the night will be at Dodger Stadium. And it's uh, the LA Dodgers taking on the San Francisco Giants. And let's see if it's going to be a San Francisco treat. And if you guys don't remember that commercial back was it back in the nineties? Um, I forget it was I think it was Rice Aroni that San Francisco treat. But we'll see if it'll be a treat here tonight in L.A. Uh, where the uh, the Dodgers are a home favorite of one seventy five. The over under set at eight. ATS forecast computer pick gonna go with the uh, road underdog in this one six point three nine two point seven seven. The over under at nine point sixteen. Looking at uh, thirteen previous games in the database, and uh, we'll see if Anthony the Scalafani will get the job done over Trevor Bauer of the L.A. Dodgers. And when the Descalafani goes for the Giants, they're 11-4 in his starts. And uh, for the Dodgers, they're only 7-9 in Bauer starts. All right, let's take a look at uh, the trends. Are your friends? I know somebody wrote a comment. Hey, where's those trends? You forgot the trends. 
And today I'm your friend because I'm giving you those trends, eh? There's a nice little rhyme right there. The over is 11-1 for the D-backs when they're a 140-160 road underdog coming off a loss over a National uh, West Division opponent the last seven years. So 11-1 for the D-backs is a 140-160 road dog coming off a loss versus a National League West Division foe. Um, White Sox are 13-2 as a home team after a conference game this year. Cardinals 18-3 when they're a home team coming off a total that pushed the last seven years. And let me find one other good one here. Uh, I don't know if I want to go to that Yankee card yet. But uh, if you're a Yankee fan, they're 10-2 as a 140, 160 home favorite when the total is 9.5, 10.5 the last two years. And uh, let's go with Cincinnati to close it off here. The Reds are 9-2 as a 140, 160 home favorite when the total is 9.5 and 10.5 or between those two uh, numbers right there the last four years. So a uh, good little number right there. And uh, one more for the road. The Twins are 9-2 and two as an away team coming off a score uh, game where they scored eight runs four in the last game. So big win yesterday, 8-2. to two. So the last two years, they're 9-2 and two when they're coming off a game where they scored eight runs four in their last game. All right, there you have it. And uh, this uh, edition is over for Monday, June 28th. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully uh, my bullpen picks are better today than they were yesterday. Yesterday I pooped the bed. By going four and eleven, I think wasn't a wasn't a banner day for yours truly, Ron Raymond. But if you want to follow my picks each and every day, go to uh, bullpenpicks.com, click on follow my picks, and uh, you want to follow some of the top pickers too, guys. I'm telling you, there's some really good baseball handicappers here at bullpenpicks.com, and uh, you know it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So we'll see if we, and you know what, because there's only what eight, eight nine games here today. Let me check. Uh, one of the hardest things to do at bullpen picks one two three four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, 11 games. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, some of the, whenever there's days with a light schedule, uh, you can pick up a gold glove here at uh, bullpenpicks.com. The hardest thing to do is, is get a gold glove, and that means you went perfect that day. And in baseball, you got always have games. The minimum you can probably have is like four or five games, and that's where a lot of these guys got their gold gloves. But uh, if you go like 14-0, like uh, let me see, we had uh, Kyle Hintlin here went 14-0, on the 11th of June, those are hard to get, and that's what makes bullpenpicks.com um, great because you know we don't give out trophies like uh, what was it uh, that football player say you know like um, Harrison you know you don't give ribbons uh, yeah you got to earn your gold glove here at bullpenpicks.com and uh, hopefully you guys can get a gold glove here today. All right, there you have it. That's a wrap, and uh, we'll see you back here on a uh, Ruby Tuesday, June 29th. Have a good one. Cheers.